video I'm going to show you an example of a site workflow that uses the collect data from user widget, an initialization form, and the send email widget. Uh, the background of the workflow is that uh, I'm in the HR department and I need to occasionally ask um, users for their travel preferences. What, who is their preferred airline? Do they have a frequent flyer number? Do they like to sit on the window or the aisle and things like that? So that's uh, the background. So the first thing I need to do is open up the Workflow Conductor Studio. For a site workflow, since it's not tied to an individual list, I can open it from any list. So I'm going to open it from Site Pages. I'm going to go to the Library ribbon and just click Create or Edit Workflows. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, give my workflow a name. So uh, we'll call this Request Travel Preferences. It will be started manually and saved. The next thing I'm going to do is create the initialization form. The only thing I need to ask for in that initialization form is which employee do you want to send this request to. So I'm going to add a field and call it employee. Single line of text, uh, it requires a value. I need to choose single line of text because a person or group is not an option here. But single line of text will work fine. Click Save. Close the initialization form. The next thing I'm going to do is drag a collect data from user widget here and double click it. Double clicking it opens up the properties dialog. So then I'm going to uh, specify the user who will receive the task uh, to submit the data. So I'm going to click on the uh, hourglass so that I can choose my initialization form parameter that I created called employee. Um, then I'm going to specify the form. When I click on dot dot dot, I get the dialog edit user form, and this is where I can create a new form. I could also use an existing form, but I don't have one, so I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to call it travel preferences. Sorry. And then I'm going to add a field. So this is going to be the preferred airline, single line of text not required. The next one's going to be the uh, frequent flyer number for that preferred airline. Again, doesn't necessarily require a value. And then the third one is going to be seat preference. That one's I'm going to make it a choice. And it's either going to be window or aisle. Again, doesn't necessarily require a value. Then I'm going to click OK. The next thing I need to do is save ID to. This ID is going to be the ID of the workflow task that gets assigned to the employee. So I'm going to click variable because I don't have a variable in this workflow yet, so I need to create it. I'm going to call it var workflow task ID. It'll be of type text. I'll click Add Field, there it is, click Save Changes. Once it exists, I can select it from this dropdown. The next thing I'm going to do is give the task a name. So again, this is going to the employee, so I'm going to say please submit your travel preferences. Task description, I'll, I'll leave that blank for the time being. Uh, I want it due two days from the day the task is created. Down in the notifications section, I do want to send task notifications. Those are emails that get sent to the task assignee to let them know they have work to do. Um, I'm going to change the subject of that email to say, please submit your travel preferences. And then the body, I'm going to keep the default. Uh, send a reminder, no. Send status updates, I'm going to change that to no. Status updates are email notifications that go to the workflow initiator. But since this is a pretty quick uh, workflow, uh, I don't think we need those this time. 
So I'm going to click Save to save the configuration parameters of my Collect Data from User widget. The next thing I need to do is do something with that data that I'm collecting. I could store it in a SharePoint list if I want to. For now, I'm just going to send an email to the workflow initiator with the information. So I'm going to double click on Send Email. Uh, on the two, I'm going to uh, go to Easy Reference and send it to the workflow initiator. For the subject, I'm going to say um, these are the travel preferences for add a lookup and go get that uh, initialization form parameter employee. And then for the body, I'm going to add the three values. So first is preferred airline. I'm going to look that up. It's going to be a field lookup because that information is ultimately going to be stored in the task list. So uh, in the lookup dialog, I'm going to choose the workflow tasks list. The field doesn't exist yet because I haven't saved my form, so I need to choose other field and type in. I need to be careful about typing this in so it's exactly as I created it, capital letters and it all. And then I'm going to choose the ID of the task is my workflow variable, var workflow task ID. So that should get me the preferred airline. Um, then I'm going to frequent flyer. I'll do the same thing, add a lookup. It's going to be a field lookup. It's going to go to the workflow tasks list. I need to choose other field because that doesn't exist yet. Be careful. Uh, use the same exact name that you used in your form. ID equals var workflow task ID. Click it. And then the last one is the uh, seat preference. Add lookup, field lookup, workflow tasks, other field, seat preference, ID equals var task. So there we have the body of our email, and uh, we'll click Save. So our email is ready to go. I'm going to click Save, right existing, and I'm going to publish it as a site workflow. Again, site workflows are not associated with any particular list, and you have to go to Site Contents to start them. So there's our workflow. It's been published successfully. I'm going to click OK and close the Workflow Conductor Studio. So um, to show you how it works, I'm going to go to Site Contents. And here we have a Site Workflows link. I'm going to click there. And there's our Site Workflow. So I'm going to click on it to start it. Here's my initialization form. Uh, the employee is here. I'm going to add myself so I can show you the email as well. Click Start Workflow. Our workflow started. There you can see it's in progress. I'm going to open up my email. See if we receive that email yet. There it is. Bring it over here. Please submit your travel preferences. It's due on the 12th. I'm going to click here to open up that form. There's my special form. So I'm going to say preferred airline United. Frequent flyer number 12345. Seat preference window. Click save. So that should be done. I can close that task. Uh, let's go check my email again. 
There's the second email I get as the workflow initiator again. So I was the person who did the task and also the workflow initiator. But here's the work the email that uh, communicates what I filled out on that form. So again, that's a site workflow example using the collect data from user widget, an initialization form, and the send email widget. 